Morning! Um, now it's Tuesday and a couple of weeks ago somebody on the YouTube, in the YouTube comment section Cold Forged Cowboy uh, was his name, uh, wrote this comment And the bit I really liked about it was when he said you should do a weekly video around electric technology and you could call it Electric Tuesday. Welcome to Electric Tuesdays. Uh, so Electric Tuesdays are going to be a thing now. Um, kind of got Q&A Monday, we're going to have Electric Tuesdays. Wednesday kind of tends to be the preview uh, to a race that's coming up that weekend. But Electric Tuesdays is going to be all about anything electric, not just electric vehicles, not just Formula E, uh, but any kind of electric technology. It could be uh, the electrical side of F1, it could be the, uh, the ERS components on a Formula One car, perhaps explainers of how they work, uh, bits of news that might involve any kinds of electric technology. Uh, it could be an electric car review, it could be uh, news from Formula E, like today, Formula E have just announced that in March of next year, in Season 5, they will go back to mainland China for a race, which is great news. And not only that, it's a beautiful part of mainland China, right down on the southern tip uh, tourist destination in China, and it looks great. So I can't wait for that. Uh, the last time we were on mainland China, of course, was um, back in Beijing. And you know, I was there at the very first race, the very first ever Formula E race in 2014 in Beijing. No one really knew what was going to happen. Uh, there was a lot of nervous people around. I remember being stood trackside as the cars were on the grid, seeing Alejandro Agag, the man behind the whole project, stood there with his fingers crossed because nobody even knew at that point whether the cars would get off the line at the start of that race. And if you remember, the race was kind of okay, it went okay, it wasn't the best race in the world, but the last lap, and in fact the last corner of the last lap, we had that crash. You must remember it, it's the crash between Nico Prost and Nick Heidfeld. A monumental accident, luckily everybody was okay, but that crash arguably put Formula E on the map. Because I remember coming home and speaking to people back here and saying, that Formula E crash was on News at 10 back in the UK. That is the main BBC news uh, broadcast, daily broadcast. And uh, to get a brand new racing championship onto News at 10, you know, you'd have never done that if you hadn't had that spectacular accident. So glad that everyone was okay. It was a great testament to the strength uh, and the safety of the brand new Formula E cars. And it really helped to put the whole thing on the map. And of course, since then, it's gone from strength to strength to strength. And the fact that we're going back to mainland China next year is great because China is the biggest um, electric vehicle market in the entire world. It's certainly an absolute hotbed for electric vehicle technology. Um, lots of cars being produced there, lots of components for cars being produced there as well. So it's a really strong, really great market for Formula E. So that is great news. Um, so there could be more of that on Electric Tuesdays. Um, there could be things like the electric skateboard. Um, I've got a second electric skateboard to review, which is, um, I'm currently underway. I've done the first part of that video. Um, you will see uh, the review of that video in the coming weeks. Some weeks it may well get quite tenuous if there isn't any major news going around. We might have to find a real tenuous link to make something fit into the electric category. It could be something that has a battery in it or has an electronic circuit board in it. I mean, who knows? Um, but as always, what I'd really love about, you know, on this, this side of things is your input. So if you spot something in the news that's uh, worthy of review or worthy of explanation, if it's something that you'd like explained, some kind of technology that you don't fully understand or that you've heard a rumour about and you want me to look into it further, I'm quite happy to do that. Um, you know, electric cars, of course, which is a huge part of this and, and I fully expect uh, EVs to take centre stage on Electric Tuesday, but not be, uh, you know, not be it in its entirety. But the electric vehicle market is exploding weekly. And there is not only news, but there are new cars, there are new charging systems. I mean, I don't know if you heard last week, but Chargemaster, uh, I think the biggest uh, of all the charging, electric vehicle charging networks in the UK was just bought by BP. That's huge news. 
BP, the petrol stations, have just bought Chargemaster um, for a huge amount of money and it's quite a smart move. They are looking to start putting electric vehicle charge points in their service stations. Um, and these are going to be high powered, uh, fast charging uh, network of stations. And of course, what else they've bought as part of that deal is Chargemaster's data network. So their network of all the data that they have on their customers, what their electric vehicle habits might be like, who they are, where they live, what kind of cars they drive, um, you know, when they charge up, where they charge up, absolutely valuable information they've bought alongside the actual technology of the chargers that are around the country at the moment and ones that will be coming in the future. So, I mean, there's going to be loads of electric news, whether it's ve electric vehicles or electric technology or anything else. But please do let me know what you'd like explained. If you want to link it back to Formula One, of course, as I say, absolutely do that. If you want to link it to some other type of motorsport, whether it's WEC, whether it's the new Electric World Rallycross Championship, whether it's the new uh, Electric GT Championship, whatever it might be, of course, Formula E, whatever it is, drop me a line. Let me know what you'd like to know a bit more about. But welcome, as I say, to Electric Tuesdays.